hello and welcome back to my channel how are you all doing hope you're well if you're new here thank you for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to do so in today's video i'll be showing you how to make lacto fermented brussels sprouts i'll show you how to transform these little green gems into a tangy and irresistible snack or condiment if you're interested in learning how to make this gut health boosting fermented brussels sprouts please keep watching for this recipe i'll be using brussels sprouts three cloves of garlic a fermentation weight to keep the brussels sprouts submerged in the salt water two cups of water two tablespoons of sea salt and a glass jar next i'm going to prepare my brine by adding two tablespoons of sea salt to two cups of water I'll set that aside and move on to the Brussels sprouts. Next, I'm going to prepare the Brussels sprouts by peeling off the outer layer and cutting off the bottom part as you would with a cabbage. Then, I'm going to cut the Brussels sprouts into two lengthwise. In case you're wondering why I'm peeling the sprouts, that's because the sprouts have muddy leaves and a few of them have holes in them. I guess I didn't get a good variety or I didn't buy fresh ones. Let me take this time to share a few benefits of fermented Brussels sprouts with you. They are high in essential vitamins, minerals and important antioxidants like vitamin C. They contain phytonutrients that helps our body detox and stay healthy. Fermented Brussels sprouts are a good source of fiber, potassium, and B vitamins. Lastly, fermented Brussels sprouts is a good source of probiotics as they can help boost your gut health. Another tip I'd like to share with you is to always remember to wash your hands and utensils before fermenting any vegetables. Now that I'm done peeling and cutting the Brussels sprouts, this is what they look like. I've given them a rinse off camera to get rid of excess dirt. Now I'm going to start transferring the Brussels sprouts into the jar. I'll add the cloves of garlic and top it up with more Brussels sprouts. Now that I'm done transferring the Brussels sprouts and garlic into the jar, it's time to add the brine. Next, I'll put in the fermentation weight so as to keep the Brussels sprouts submerged. This will help prevent mold from growing on top of the Brussels sprouts. I really love the look of this. I can't wait for it to be ready because to be honest, I've never had fermented Brussels sprouts. I'm going to leave this on the kitchen counter and put a tray under to catch any excess liquid that might bubble over during the fermentation process. Now it's 14 days later and look at this beauty. As you can see, the slightly bright green Brussels sprouts in the previous clip has turned dull and the water has turned cloudy from being super clear. Here's a closer look. Now, it's time to open up the jar. It smells wonderful. It smells just like sauerkraut with a hint of garlic marvelous now i'll take out the fermentation weight and set it aside as you can see the brussels sprouts have all floated to the top 
which shows the importance of a fermentation weight. Next, I'll take out a few fermented Brussels sprouts. Now, here's a closer look of what the lacto-fermented Brussels sprouts look like. For me, this is the best way to eat Brussels sprouts. It tasted so good. Fermented Brussels sprouts can be eaten in different ways. As you can see here, I made a nice bowl of salad where I added grapes, Brussels sprouts, olive, chickpeas, fermented salsa on a bed of spinach with a sweet chili sauce and the result was wonderful. I also made mashed potatoes with a side of stewed beans and Brussels sprouts and the result was also excellent. Other ways that you can consume fermented Brussels sprouts is to use them as a topping for your pizza or stir them into soup or stews you can also enjoy them as a snack straight from the jar or my favorite one is to make a fermented brussels sprout salad dressing by blending them with olive oil lemon juice and garlic it tastes excellent also a great thing about fermented brussels sprouts is that they last for months when stored in the refrigerator so i guess we've come to the end of this video if you've enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel and please click the notification bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, if you've got any questions on how to make this gut health boosting lacto fermented Brussels sprouts, please leave your comments in the comment section. Take care. See you next time. Bye.